Hey fellow Kindle authors and publishers, this is Balaji O, and on behalf of Shola and myself, we bring you KD Perfect, scientific proven formulas for helping you to get more reviews, more best-selling books, and more sales. Today, I'm going to show you how to write a near-perfect review that sucks traffic from the best-selling authors and books in your niche. And we'll have them thanking you for it as well. This is KD Perfect Review Traffic, okay? I'm going to show you exactly how this works. No longer do you have to beg for reviews. No longer do you have to, um, you know, try to get the attention of these top reviewers. Everybody's going to want you on their Amazon sales page leaving reviews. Okay, so here is how the tool works. You don't have to worry about writer's block. We tell you exactly, and we've studied the very best reviewers. This is exactly how they're writing their reviews. And you're, we're going to show you a ninja trick as well, how you're going to be able to get clicks directly from your review. Okay, so check it out. On step one, you want to have a good title, a compelling title for your review. The instructions are at the bottom of your screen here, as you'll notice, okay? So it says enter a three to four word title of the form, you know, adjective plus genre of the book. So, you know, I put a thrilling underdog adventure. You know what? Let me change that to a thrilling fantasy fiction adventure. Does that make sense? I want to insert the genre. Um, you could say spicy historical romance, you know, whatever it is. It's kind of like a sales letter headline, if that makes sense. So we've reverse engineered what the top 500 reviewers worldwide are doing, and this is it. Uh, we'll keep you on the edge of your seat. I'm going to put an exclamation mark there. Now, we've uh, put a lot, another ninja trick in here as well. We actually have created a couple of swipe files for you. So if you click on more options at the top, you can select uh, 25 persuasive, persuasive openers. Let's click that. We have a swipe file, so you can, if you, you're stumped for word ideas, you can use that. We also have one that says 100 plus action verbs uh, list that is in there as well. Okay, so you can use that, and that will help you to get started. Does that make sense? So feel free to leverage that at any time. Let's go to step two. Okay, so step two says insert your attention grabbing book quote below. Okay, you can see the words in there from step one. Uh, you can use this actually throughout any of the steps. Let me close that. Okay, insert an attention-grabbing book quote. So I went and pulled a quote from the book. Uh, the book that I'm reviewing, by the way, is The Lightning Thief by Percy Jackson. I, I read that book a few months ago. Sorry, it features Percy Jackson. It's uh, by Rick Riordan. So here's a quote by Percy Jackson. It says, if my life is going to mean anything, I have to live it myself. I really like that quote. It reminds me of the uh, Uncle Ben quote, with great power comes great responsibility, right? You see that down there. So insert your favorite quote. Make it an intriguing one, if that makes sense, right? Okay, step three. Uh, insert the setting description. So I put that the lightning thief takes place... Uh, uh, it places Greek mythology in a modern setting, and it's a hilarious fantasy adventure featuring 12-year-old Percy Jackson, who discovers he's the son of a mortal woman and the Greek mythical figure Poseidon. Does that make sense? Okay, so now we've established the setting of the book, right? Let's move to next. Okay, describe the main character. So, Percy Jackson is a 12-year-old boy with dyslexia and ADHD and so on. I go on to describe Percy. He's quite an interesting character. There's a lot of uh, contrast with him which makes him interesting. He has a lot of struggle. He's coming out of some difficult situations just starting out. So that makes him likable. It makes it easy to identify with him. But he's also complicated and you don't really envy him, right? So he makes for the perfect hero, okay? So you want to make it a short description. Um, include the character's name, include some insightful detail about the personality, don't give too much away, right? Because people who are reading this haven't read the book. Make sense? Okay, cool. Now, this is optional, but it's recommended. The next step is to insert information, a description about the second main character. And so, um, in this area, I added the wrong information here. Hang on one sec. Okay, there we go. I fixed that. I, I have um, my entire review in a little um, notepad here just to make it a little quicker to show you how this works. Um, typically, you'd be coming up with this just by reading the directions. You might have the book handy so you can get some reminders um, about the details of the book. 
Um, so here we are. So Percy has one steadfast friend. It's Grover Underwood, and so on and so forth. You'll notice if if you've read the book, then you'll notice that I don't actually reveal everything about Grover. There's a big secret about Grover's identity. I, I just kind of make it intriguing, right? So you don't want to give too much away because again, the people reading this haven't read the actual book. All right, cool. Next, the plot summary. What is the plot summary? Okay, so you'll notice once again that even though I gave information about the plot, I tried to keep it intriguing. I tried to not give too much detail, right? So I love that Percy's the unwitting, uh, then reluctant hero, and so on and so forth. I really enjoyed this book, so I kind of went on and on. I haven't said in here, I won't give the plot away, but suffice to say, his academic struggles and even apparent stubbornness are what save him in the end. And the plot was simple enough for tweens to follow, um, but it did have a number of plot twists uh, that I didn't see coming. Even even as a grown uh, reader of this book. So this is a it's a fantastic book. I really enjoyed giving this review. Although until having this tool, I'll tell you that it, I, there's no way I would have given a, a, a review that was anywhere this detailed. Okay. All right. So who is the ideal reader for this book? So you kind of want to give some examples. You you could say, for example, if you're into, and then you put the name of the genre. Or you could say if you enjoy stories about, or you could say if you're tired of reading the same old stories about. You know, the uh, instructions will always be down here at the bottom of the window. Okay. So the way I phrased it uh, is that this is a great book for tweens and teens. But honestly, as a grown uh, grown up fantasy fiction fan I couldn't put this down for two days so if you like fantasy fiction of any kind you'll definitely get lots of enjoyment out of this book series alright so step 8 says that this is the similar audience comparison technique so what famous book or author does the story remind you of and so I said if you like J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings series C.S. Lewis's Narnia series mythology in general or fantasy fiction of any kind I could even put in um, J.K. Rowling's J.K. Oh, there, there is actually have it in there already. Uh, it's also a bit similar to J.K. Rowling, the Harry Potter series style of storytelling, right? So that really gives. If people like those books already, they're sold. So I'm doing a lot of the selling for the author here. Okay, let's skip to the next step. Step nine says insert your Amazon product link or other book titles by author. This is optional but you have the option to say uh, to recommend some other book. So you can say you know before you read this book you may want to check out so maybe you put the previous book in the series or you could link to if you have happen to have a book that's similar to the book that you're reviewing you could recommend that. Um, if you use that technique do use it sparingly you don't want to always recommend your own book okay but this is where you're able to put a link to your book from and, and this will end up being on whatever Amazon sales page uh, you review. So in this case, I'm reviewing a very popular book, Rick Riordan's um, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. Therefore, this is going to drive traffic to whatever link I put in here. Okay, so that's what I did on step nine. Let's go to step. 10. So step 10 says describe one thing you change about the book. Again, this is optional, but I like to include it because it gives you more credence, more credibility uh, if it shows that you're giving a balanced review. So here's what I said. If there's one thing I change about this book, it would be to make the battle between Percy and Ares a bit more detailed and I'd give Ares a bit more credit considering his reputation in that fight. Okay? So again, it it tells you something that happened but it doesn't give any details so that it doesn't actually ruin it for someone who hasn't read the book but it, that actually is something that I would change about the book I didn't really like the way that the author handled that particular situation okay step 11 you want to describe how the book looks on your mobile device for the benefit of the reader for example you could say I have an iPad or I have a Kindle or I read this on my smartphone and the formatting and layout is solid it's excellent right I have an Android tablet or I read this on the Kindle app on my desktop and it looks beautiful you basically want to talk about the formatting because that's actually something that a lot of uh, Kindle readers a lot of Amazon readers pay attention to and you can be really brief on that one but just a little mention really helps the person and reading the review and the fi here's the final step okay you want to actually boost uh, your helpful votes helpful votes on your reviews by giving a call to action so at the end here's the thing a lot of people don't actually think to um, acknowledge a review as being helpful so it doesn't hurt for you to ask you could say if you found this useful let the community know let other readers know by clicking yes on the helpful 
um, votes button okay and so that basically lets you get more helpful votes it bumps your review up gives it more visibility right that's the final step at that point all you need to do is click produce review and you have your review ready to go okay so we'll click that it says please wait boom it's gonna ask you where you want to put the file let's put it on the desktop and in just a few seconds it's gonna output that review to the screen for you and there we are alright that looks beautiful if I do say so myself there is my review look at that that's such a detailed review again there's no way I would have written a review nearly that detailed if I didn't have the system now here is what you do next this is important follow these directions okay so step one let's go to this URL in the browser okay so I'm gonna copy that let's go into my browser here boom paste okay step two it says enter the book title of the book you want to review. Notice this is in the Kindle eBooks section already. Okay, uh, the Lightning Thief. Okay. Uh, step three: scroll down and click on the button. Click on the book title that you want to review. There it is. That's the Lightning Thief, uh, Percy Jackson, Kindle edition. So I'm going to click on that. Okay. Here we are. Now, step four, a quick way to get to the uh, write a customer review button, because sometimes it's hard to find on an Amazon sales page that's really long. Just click on the number of reviews here, okay? See where it says 1,934 customer reviews? Click on that, all right? And what do you know? It takes you right to a page that only has reviews on it, and right at the top is the button that we want, that we know and love, create your own review. So click on that button, click on the gray uh, write a customer review button, okay? And then rate the book. Are you over 13? I'm pretty sure you are. How do you rate this item? It was a five for me. Uh, enter a title for your review. Okay, so now I'm coming back to the uh, Perfect Review Traffic app, and here's the title that I put in, yeah? A thrilling fantasy fiction adventure that will keep you on the edge of your seat. I'm going to paste that in. Boom! Now, here's the written portion of the review. Let's copy that. Starts with the quote. Look at that, Magnus. There is no way I would have written review this good without this tool that's why I love 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 using this tool boom it's all in there let's preview the review next okay so click preview your review here we are so let's just take a look at my review this is how it's going to appear five stars it's got the title it's got it starts with a quote and you can see each of the paragraphs boom 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 it's hard hitting it even has a link right let's click publish submit and you are done and let me tell you that that is going to be one highly rated review ladies and gentlemen so I hope you've enjoyed this little very brief review <laughs> no pun intended of the perfect uh, review traffic product you're gonna have a lot of fun with this guys you're gonna have a lot of fun with this I want to know as you guys start getting those helpful votes on your reviews definitely let me know about it let Shola know about it here at Katie perfect we want to help you get as perfect a result as possible with your book publishing alright so I'll see you in the next video thanks a lot for picking up this product let us know how we can continue to improve and serve you guys as fellow Kindle authors this is Balaji. On behalf of me and Shola, we are Katie Perfect. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.